The following six-man contest is a ladder match. Making his way to the ring from Cincinnati, Ohio. Weight to 125 pounds, the WWE Champion and one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Dean Ambrose. Listen to this WWE Universe. They've been waiting all night to see their favorite superstar. Approaching the ring from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing 227 pounds, Chris Jericho. And we are hearing some love for this superstar here. You think you know.
weighing 210 pounds, Daniel Bryan. Y2J will have his hands full here tonight. Well, he'll undoubtedly be looking to his Jericho Hollis for some more support. What's he think he's going to do with that? A bit of a test of strength here. Oh, man, a huge jaw jacking drop kick. Did you see that? Oh, talk about getting your spine adjusted. Jeez. Great offense by Jericho. And there he goes, under the bottom rope. And maybe Samoa will be restored here. For Cena, Michael. And Dean Ambrose gets taken down. And you know what? I think that would hurt his pride just as much. A sick dick breaker. He is slowly getting dissected. The DQ matches are so dangerous. And he's heading back inside the ring. Now back to the ring. I'd get out of the way right about now. Boy, did he get dropped or what? Good job. Is he pressing a secret button? And now they're getting the wrong time up. You know, I hope we get to see another edge matic here tonight, Cole. I don't know what I like most about it. Seeing his opponent's head bounce off the mat, or the way the name rolls off the top. And then he gets dumped up simultaneously from the line. He does it again. He's fun to do. Oh, back to the head. Back to the temple. Great reversal. Slow he is to react right now. What a fierce kick. Wow, Jericho is. Whoa! Oh, there it is! 
He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. That's it. He's done. Well, the risk of disappointing you, King, and also has a series of moves that are just as impressive as the edge of Matic, as you say, but are just a little less cool sounding. You know, moves like the Impaler DDT or Northern Light Suplex. Wait a minute, are you kidding me? And get three. This guy's just getting worn out. Now we're throwing stuff? You've got to be kidding me. You can see him struggling to stand after all the damage he's taken. He's heading up the ladder. Every time he has to get up, it takes more and more effort. Again, this one's no disqualification, so the ref's going to allow it. Oh, no. What's he going to do here? Head is neck. That's got to feel like being in a car crash. More damage to the head and neck. The game plan seems to be king to go after the surgically repaired neck of John Cena. Oh, we got it. This should be it. I'm not sure if he knows where he. Oh, God. He's not exactly hopping up to his feet here. Well, what do you expect, Michael? Did you see what just happened? Keep your eye on No! Oh, the ladder's gonna be up to task after that. I don't know how much more damage he can take. Oh, mama! What's gonna happen now? Can he back up the ladder? This could be huge! Oh, no! Uh oh This isn't where you want to be! The most punishment he... A big fall, and all the air might be driven out. really tired now. That tank of his has to be re- You've got to be kidding me. Devastating. Simply devastating. Well, I think that's why it's a high risk, ladies and gentlemen. And the pace now finally getting to Daniel Bryan. Man, that one rocked him. Going up the ladder again. Whoa! Ambrose knows how to bring opponents down of all sizes. Chris Jericho's in trouble. See the results from that move. He's back on his feet. You can see the abuse from this grueling match is definitely taking its toll. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. Rob Van Dam with the offense. And he gets back in. Oh, ow! Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. Now back under the ring, looking for another object of some sort. This might be big. John 
Cena. This match has taken so much out of this guy. He's not going to give up. But man, this has been physical. If he keeps this up, this could be over quick. There he goes. He's going up. Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his. This is a pivotal moment. Whoever comes up short here might just lose the match. Move to the ladder in the most physical fashion.
here is your winner, Daniel Bryan. Look at the carnet playing around the ring. He's got the briefcase. What will that Money in the Bank contract bring him the same success it's brought so many others in the past? The following contest is an Iron Man match. The superstar to score the most pinfalls within the time limit will be the winner. And is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from Chicago, Illinois, weight to 118 pounds, C. N. Punk. And his opponent from Miami, Florida, weighing to 165 pounds, he is the world heavyweight champion, The Rock.
This is so personal. The people's champion, The Rock, will cross paths once again with the best in the world, CM Punk. Takes him down. Oh my gosh! Oh, big elbow. Let's do it. Watch it. Ooh. The offense of the Rock is working well right now. And there's a stiff clothesline. And did you hear the impact on that kick? Hey, wait a minute. What's he doing here? He's checking under the ring, possibly looking for an object in this no disqualification match. Oh my gosh, that was an incredibly risky maneuver to the outside. There can be no question that CM Punk has in his arsenal one of the most devastating finishers in WWE. The Anaconda on that table, not where you want to be. And he's heading back in. Watch out! Big time mistake there, big time. Oh, and did you hear the impact? I don't think there's any lengths that these superstars won't go to to achieve here tonight. Rock into the cover, and he kicks out. What a year we've had here at WWE. So many great moments and matches. That's right. And you can check out all your favorites on WWE.com and see who all the Slammy Award winners are. He wasted no time going for that pin, and he kicks out of it. The Anaconda Vice finisher of CM Punk that we're talking about has some international flavor to it. It borrows a little bit from Judo, a little bit from Jiu-Jitsu, but it doesn't matter where Punk got it. All that matters now is that he knows how to use it. Well, it's all about positioning when it comes to the Anaconda, and CM Punk is such a great positional performer. He knows exactly how to set his man up for that finisher and put him in an absolutely helpless situation. Remember, there are no countouts in this contest. This match could end up anywhere. And that thing can cause a whole lot of damage. These no DQ matches are so dangerous. Steel chair. Oh, back to the head, back to the temple. Rock setting it up. And there's the submission hold. Will this do it? This is such a painful hold. I don't believe the destruction we're seeing. This guy's just going from one painful move to another. Gets back in. He's got a steel chair. Wow! If he keeps this up, this could be over quick. Oh, did you hear that? Steel and flesh collided. Now with complete control. And five minutes 
have elapsed in this contest. Whoa! The Rock is in position. We got him! Oh my God! Rock bottom! That Dude. sure put an exclamation. Three. And there's the decision. The damage has definitely been done. Now it may just be a matter of time. And that should be. So the Rock is working well right now. Punk's in trouble. Uh-oh. Look where he's going again. And now it is show-off time. Don't waste time gloating here. The ladder. The ladder really coming into play in this match. Good lord, he's just hell bent on naming his opponent. Oh, back to the head, back to the temple. Oh, wow. There's a 
cover. Stuck on the barricade. And King, that was a jaw-shattering shot. Yes, it was. But this, this is mauling. Can we get an official over there? The Rock eating some serious shots. about CM Punk. It is a unique attitude and personality that the straight edge savior brings into the ring with him. Sure, he may look the part of a rebel from the streets with all the tattoos and everything, but Punk is all business in the squared circle. Whoa! Whoa! That's it! He's out! They're gonna get this one more time! Never seen anything like it! He may get the three count right here! looking object in his hands. He's in a world of trouble. Much more of this, and I doubt he'll be able to continue. This doesn't bode well. He's laid out that ball position, going all the way up. Heads up! CM Punk showing signs of life. We're down to the final three minutes in the... We got a cover! One. The Rock has eyes. Won't quit. I can't believe the motor in this guy. Great right counter. GTS. Go to sleep. The pump knee. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Two. Two. Three. The toll taken on the rock is not in question. Oh, back to the head. Back to the temple. That should do it right there. Boy, he was able to reverse it. Get out of that. Two minutes left. There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? Two, two. Three. And he gets another point. Things have gotten worse for CM Punk. And this has got to be it. Two. two. Three. And he scores a decision.
it's The Rock with the reversal. The Rock wins. You want to talk about crowd pleasing? Take a look at the highlights from this match. The following contest is a no disqualifications match and is for the WWE Championship. Introducing the challenger from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing 245 pounds, is the Viper, Randy Orton! And his opponent, 
from Pensacola, Florida, weighing 265 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Roman Reigns. In a relatively short period of time, Roman Reigns has already compiled a career's worth of highlights. Well, you're right about that. Hey, who will ever forget the 2014 Royal Rumble when Reigns eliminated the whopping 12 superstars? I'd imagine, Ken, you squared off against opponents like Roman Reigns. How can somebody win? Well, anybody that's been following him over the last several weeks knows the kind of role this guy has been on. Every time he comes out here, he seems to be performing better and better. As far as signature finishing moves go in the WWE, Randy Orton's RKO gets a lot of attention, and rightfully so. But his running punt kick to an opponent's head deserves its share of attention, too, because that move is every bit as brutal and bone-crunching as the RKO. Nice dodge there. Oh, man! That could be a knockout! And his head drops right down into the corner. Well, Ken, you definitely have a point there. Of course I do. The RKO might be the better known of Orton's finishers, but the Apex Predator's punt kick has ended plenty of matches by itself. Right. I know we've both seen him use it countless times, and it's rare an opponent can recover from it. Randy's running punt kick is just devastating. Right. It's a finisher that's not used to just take you down. It's used to take you out. I mean, the Viper is looking to do a massive amount of damage when he plants that kick to the side of your head. And that's usually exactly what happens. What a shot! He's in big trouble! Oh, look at Roman Reigns pouring on the aggression. You know, thinking about Randy Orton and the great times in what I'm sure is a first ballot WWE Hall of Fame career, you have to talk about when he formed the great evil alliance with Edge, known as Rated RKO. Remember that, Cole? Of course I do. I mean, the two men who were dedicated to villainy and destroying all competitors in WWE, they were my kind of guys. Is that one. And will this be it? A kick out after one. With the championship at stake, you know that what a move! I love watching these replays. Can he score the pin? Two. And there's a kick out at two and a half. Randy Orton is getting the creep. Should do it right there. Two. Two. And Roman Reigns evades. My word, that was so close. And here comes Roman Reigns. Oh, no. 
no, that cut is just pouring now. Look at the eyes. Randy Orton has shown some good prowess right now. Champion. Here's your life, sir.